following on from the last episode where I was sorting out the electrics, uh, I've still got a bit more to do on the electrics. I do have I do have a slight issue that I've come across on the electrics. It's basically when I'll show you. When I actually plug the standard clocks in, maybe this is something I'm missing. So any any feedback, please in the comments below. Probably Frank is going to be the best one on this one. When I plug the standard clocks in, everything powers up fine, no issues whatsoever. I did have a look at, as you remember, I looked at these off 600 SRAD. Now I remember Frank did say that I may need to do a pin change, but the thing is when I powered these up first, it had the full display, it told me the mileage, now all I get is the indicator button or the indicator light, I should say, just illuminate even when the ignition's off. Now, I have been talking to him, and he did say about um, GSXR 1000 clocks plugged straight in. So, I bit the bullet and came up with these. Not too bad, fairly cheap, but I've just got a broken lug on the back, which I can fix. But again, I've got the same issue. I plug these in and nothing happens but when I plug the original clocks back in I seem to have everything so it is a bit of a quandary um, you know, I've been playing around this morning before I actually started filming this and I've now got the battery back on charge again because I've just flattened the battery but I really cannot understand I know the connections are all the same and I understand that they do go to slightly different places but uh, I am quite baffled by it so any any help any feedback in the comments below I did finish off the bracket that's just had a rough coat of paint it's not brilliant but for these clocks it will need a finishing coat and uh, just bit around the edges but for these clocks it does fit quite nice obviously if I can get these clocks to work then yeah it will need a bit of um, a bit of adapting but today basically is um, continuing on with electrics and trying to sort out what the problem is I've gone through the fuses I've checked the connections so I'm, I'm really a bit stuck at the moment so if anybody's got any ideas, as I say, I am, as I call myself, the amateur bike builder, I am an amateur, I don't know everything. I do rely on feedback. You know, this is a great community where people help each other. So uh, I'm asking for a bit of help. So, but we'll crack on today and see what we can find out. All right, I've actually pulled the wires out for a bit just to see what I can find. I've disconnected the front lights at the moment. I've reconnected up the original clocks. Had to put a bit more life in the battery. It was uh, gone a bit flat. As you can see, I have full power there. I have actually popped a bit of fuel in it, reconnected all the sender unit and the fuel hoses from the fuel pump. So I'm actually gonna see if I can actually get it started. Not quite sure how it's gonna sound. Say, so, cause the exhaust basically, I did have a few comments a few videos ago when I actually fitted the exhaust. Uh, a couple of people said, why didn't you use exhaust paste or joints or etc. At the moment I just want it loose so I can see if it fits in nicely before I go for a final full fit. I've still got this to sort out as well on the end can. But as I say, I've gone through all the electrics, I've gone through all the fuses so I can't work out why them other clocks won't work. But at the moment I know it powers up on the old clocks so if it comes to it I'll make a bracket for that and keep them for now. They're not, they don't look brilliant. But the idea is to get it on the road, get it MOT'd. Obviously I've still got the mudguard to finish. 
but let's try powering it up. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I don't know how loud it's going to be. This is the uh, first fire up. blowing from here, let's say that was only a temporary fix. And everything else seems to be okay. Very noisy. Yeah, but that was noisy. But at least she, at least she starts. That's the main thing. So I'm happy with that. Obviously now I need to check oil, coolant, top them up where needed. But still baffling me about these electrics. I know everything works now. Obviously the other thing I need to do is stick it back in dealer mode like I did quite a while ago using this plug because on the display I had C00 which is great but I had a minus sign at the top which means the throttle sensor needs adjusting down slightly. But no, baffling. Alright so pleased with the actual running but still can't work out the clocks. That's really, really baffling me. One last thing I did want to do today, diverting from everything else completely. Purely uh, aesthetics, really. Picked up a couple of bar-in mirrors, so we're just going to pop those in. I'll get them in position later on, but uh, main thing is to uh, just pop them on for now. There we go, there's the other one. See how I go with them. So, I need to do a bit on the exhaust, uh, check the fluids. That's next. Alright, as you can see after that brief run, all levels drop, so I need to top that back up.
All right, just checking it as a go. And that's back up to the mark again. So that's about four and a half litres. Obviously after I've run it again, I'll check it again. Next I need to check coolant levels. Alright, one last thing I want to do this week is put it back into dealer mode because I need to check the throttle sensor. So I put the wire back in, as you can see as it was before. I'll put a link in the uh, description below for the dealer mode video. So again, make sure the kill switch is off. bring it on okay that's a bit strange it's still at C00 but the minus sign is in the middle all right let's fire it up see if it changes <laughs> According to a video that I watched a couple of weeks ago, that is normal. If I'm wrong, please tell me. But that seems to be working fine, so I actually don't need to adjust it. So maybe I might have knocked it while I was moving things around. It's possible. But that is about it for today. So she fires up, which is great. That's what I was aiming for. Doesn't seem to be any leaks. Check the oil, check the coolant. All seems to be running fine. So that's about it for today. As I said before, please leave comments in the uh, comments box below. There is a subscribe button in every video in the bottom right hand corner, so please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and join me again next time. Cheers. Bye.